Pam Ennis and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining our community, would you take a minute and click on the subscribe button right there? There's a red button, it says subscribe. If you would click on that, as well as the notification bell, what that will do is make you a part of our notification list. And that way, when we publish new videos or uh, new series and webinars, you will be notified and you will be a part of our community and you will learn all of these um, tips and tricks on manifestation and pretty much up leveling your life. So take a minute and please subscribe to our channel. Here on this channel, everything is about up leveling your life. And we take a holistic approach to that. Holistic approach meaning we want to help you with your relationships. We want to help you with your family. We want to help you with your business. We want to help you spiritually. We basically want to help you manifest, bring those things into your life that you desire, regardless to what area of life that you are in. In today's episode, we will be talking about entrepreneurship and starting your own business. We're actually starting a series. We have a seven part series on how to start your own business. Everything from, um, writing a book. In fact, our first uh, segment in the series is on becoming an author. So we have something coming up on that for you. But in today's episode, we're going to talk to people who would like to start a business, may not have a lot of money, um, have been impacted by the pandemic, and really don't know where to start. We're going to give you three ways that you can get started in a business in less than, listen to this, in less than one week, some of the businesses in less than 24 hours, in less than one day, you can be up and running and no money involved. Yes, that's what I said. In today's episode, I'm going to give you three businesses that you can start from the privacy of your own home. One, you may have to go out a little bit but for the most part from the privacy of your own home and no money involved and in as low as 24 hours. So a lot of people, especially now that we've went into the pandemic are struggling with, uh, maybe making ends meet, maybe need a little extra money for bills at the end of the month, or maybe you're out of work due to the pandemic altogether. And you're having a problem trying to find income or supple supplementary income for that uh, deficit that you're dealing with because of the pandemic. So those are the people we're talking to today, as well as, as well as a group of people who Maybe you're not impacted by the pandemic, but you're working a nine to five, you've been in a nine to five, and you have a desire to become a business owner. You have a desire to become an entrepreneur and you just don't know where to start. I mean, you have great ideas, but you just don't know where to start. Well, the next seven series that we're going to have is going to talk about where you can start and we're going to have some special guests and we're going to help you with that. But what I wanted to do today is give you a quick way, a low risk way. This is no risk involved. There's not a lot of money, if any money involved in starting your own business with these three methods that I'm going to give you on today. So let's go ahead and dive into that. So method number one, look around your house and see if you have anything that you can sell or get, get rid of that you don't use. And let me give you an example of what something is you can sell. So a method is look at anything that you've had for longer than six months or eight months, and you haven't even looked at it. Not only have you not used it, you haven't even looked at it. Chances are, chances are that you don't need that and you can sell that. And guess what? Someone else needs it. So I want you to look at it like, what do I have to offer of value that may no longer serve me, but another person may need it. And that's the mindset that I want you to have, because remember everything on, on this channel and everything in this community is about 
having the right mindset and being intentional. So don't just start looking for things. I want you to first think about what do I own that is valuable. However, it's no longer serving me, but it may serve another per another person. So you start looking for those things. And when you find those things, you gather them up and you start looking at marketplaces. So I'm going to send you, what is a marketplace? So what is a e-commerce marketplace? For the most part, we're going to be talking about online businesses because online businesses are the future. First of all, an online business is the future. Secondly, it is the quickest way to start your own business. An online business is the quickest way to start your own business. So the retail and trade in an online business is what we're going to talk about because retail and trade is the oldest business in the world. There has been trade and retail businesses since the beginning of time, going all the way back to Egypt. That is how they exchange business. That is how they bartered and they exchange products and gold and silver and oil and wheat and grain and everything was through retail and trade. Well, think about a marketplace. What is a marketplace? A marketplace is a platform or a location where you sell products to people that need them. A marketplace is a location that is on the internet where you're going to sell the products to people who need them. So what are the most popular marketplaces? There are so many. So I'm going to name three that you can use, but there's so many. And maybe in our series, if you follow our series, you'll get to learn more marketplaces and more products you can sell and more approaches you can take. I'm just giving you the three top simplest, easiest, quickest way to get into business for yourself with no money involved. Marketplace one, eBay. eBay is the second largest online marketplace to sell and buy products. Marketplace two, Amazon. Amazon is exactly what it says it is. It is Amazon. It is a huge, huge marketplace where you can buy. Most people just think about buying products on Amazon, but you can also sell products, meaning you're going to find those things that are valuable, but that you no longer need, but another person may need it and you're going to sell it on a marketplace. Okay. This is the simplest way to get started in your own business. Third could be, could be, there's one called posh net and, uh, with posh net and I'll make sure that I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'll put the correct uh, name of it here. It's actually posh mark It's posh mark. It is a marketplace that is very much up and coming. And again, you find things that are valuable to you that you don't need and you put them up there. Now here's the beauty of all three of these marketplaces. They allow you to sign up with an account. The only one that's going to charge you to sign up with an account is Amazon. But guess how much it is? It's $39. $39. I want you to understand what's happening here. But $39.99, you can put your products in front of an audience of billions of people who need something that you have. But $39.99, you never leave the comfort of your own home. Never leave the comfort of your own home. The second one, eBay charges you nothing, it's free to market your product. If a million gazillion people, I don't know if the gazillion is a word, but it means a lot of people are on those platforms. I can guarantee you it's a fact. This is a fact. This is a surefire, no risk. Okay. It is a fact out of a million gazillion people, someone on that pro on that platform has a need for what you have, right? 
because you're not going to give people junk. You're going to give people the things that are valuable. You're going to sell things that are valuable that you no longer need. It is someone that needs that and they're going to buy that. And it costs you no money to list your products. And Poshmark is very similar the same way. It's either going to be no money or it's going to be under $20. So those are the three platforms. So the steps are very, very simple. You're going to look around your house. So what does that mean? You're going to look around your house. You already have inventory. A lot of people think it's hard to start a business because I need products to sell. I don't have any products to sell. I don't have any money to invest in products to sell. I don't know what products to sell. I don't know how to, um, contact suppliers to find products. Well, you know what? We're going to eliminate that. You're going to be the supplier. You are the supplier. That's key. You are the supplier. And in future episodes, I'm going to show you the power of you being your own supplier. You are the supplier. Why? Because you're going to look for products that you already own things you own things. When you went on that vacation, you know, last year or before the pandemic, you bought all of these perfumes or all these powders or all these candles or all these t-shirts or all these little trinkets or all these coffee, uh, teas, different type of teas. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have products that are valuable to another person in your own home. And you're going to find those and you're going to list those. Or let's say you're a shopper. Some people by nature love to shop and they shop even when they don't need anything. And they may end up with dresses and, and shirts and shoes that still have the price tag on them. And they've had it for so long that, um, they can't even return it anymore. Well, for someone else, they need that and it's valuable. So you're going to put those online and you're going to put them for sale for a price that is affordable to the person. And depending, sometimes you put it on for the same price you pay for it. If it's something that's that valuable, if it's something like designer and, and you know, it's very much in demand. And in future episodes, we'll talk about how to find out what's in demand, what's not in demand, but this is just a, a quick crash, you know, five, 10, 15 minute max on how to do this. So you're going to price it according to its value and what's fair. And I'll show you how to do that in a future episode. Now, guess what? It doesn't have to be brand new. It can be used and in good condition because here's the deal. If you have the right mindset, right? We're talking mindset. Mindset means what do I have to offer someone? What do I have that's valuable that another person can use? If you go into anything, anything with that mindset, you'll be successful. So for this type of opportunity, we're just talking about retail. We're talking about e-commerce, e-commerce. The definition of e-commerce means commerce is the exchange of business. E-commerce is the exchange of business on the internet. Commerce, commerce is the oldest business in the world. Commerce is probably the first business in the world. E-commerce is online. So we're only talking about working and starting a business in the e-commerce space right now, where you have a built in a built in audience, consumers, consumers, consumers are people who buy something that you have. Consumers are people who need something that you have. Normally you're a consumer, meaning you go to Amazon, you buy something, you go to your local grocer, you buy something, you go to the mall, you buy something, you're a consumer. When you're starting your own business, and you're starting an online e-commerce business, you're looking to consumers to purchase your product. So you price your product so that it's competitive for those people that you want to buy it. So let's say that you have your mom and you have kids and you know, they're growing quickly. 
we know kids from the time they're infants to the time they're probably four years old, they grow so fast out of their clothing. You have all of these clothes laying around for your children and toys. You can resell them on a marketplace such as Amazon, such as eBay, such as Poshmark. You can resell them. And guess what now? Now you're in business for yourself. You have a income coming in every day, every week, every month, because that's the beauty of e-commerce. The overhead is very low. The overhead is your laptop or your computer or your iPhone. Whatever you're looking at me and this channel on right now, whether it's your iPhone, your computer, your laptop, that is your asset. And you just log into the application. You're not paying rent for a brick and mortar. Brick and mortar means a physical location. You're not in a physical location. You're not renting a store. You are opening a store online in an e-commerce marketplace. You're opening a store as a person online in an e-commerce marketplace, such as eBay, Amazon, or Poshmark. As you sell those things in your home, in your surrounding, at some point you'll find you may make a hundred dollars a month. You may make a thousand dollars a month. It just all depends on whatever you have. And at that point you start asking other people, other relatives, other friends, people in the house, what do they have that they don't want that they would like to barter. And you'll start to learn the marketplace and you'll start to feel more connected to certain categories of products that you're selling. And that's when you start to kind of hone in on a niche. Now, some people love this e-commerce business so much that they don't mind selling everything. That's okay. If that's you, if you work, if your mind works like that, you know, and you're going to be a general, a general store, you know how you go to the general store, like the the Walmart is a general store of our time. It's just very large, but let's say even a dollar store or, or whatever, a general store just means you sell everything. If you find something that you can make a profit on, because once you become a business person, a retail person, you just think about, is this going to be a profit? And if you find something you can make a profit on, you're going to sell it. Of course, as long as it's legal, of course. Um, but if you find something you can make a profit on, you're going to sell it. So you can be a general store. You can have coffee for sale. For example, you could have, uh, you know, your, your, your designer dress that you bought and now you can't wear it. You can have that for sale all at the same time. You can have some sneakers from your son when he plays soccer and he doesn't play soccer anymore. You got that for sale in a category. You got some designer tees that you went out and bought all these teas because you thought you were going to become a tea connoisseur. And then all of a sudden you never drank the tea and the company you bought the tea from, uh, won't take it back. So what now you're going to sell your teas. That's a general person and that's okay if you, if you want to do that and you're interested in all those categories, but what generally happens if you really get a knack for the online business, e-commerce on Amazon, eBay, or Poshmark by starting with the things in your own home, three platforms, Amazon, Poshmark, eBay, you're the supplier. You're going to use your own home. And guess what? It could be food as well. Let's say you're a person who shops a lot. And especially if you buy like exotic type things, you know, like my first business, uh, probably my first online business, my first e-commerce business. Okay. Because I'm like a serial entrepreneur and I have many businesses, but the, my first e-commerce business was probably maybe 50, no, it had to be 20 years ago. No, it had to be 25 years ago. My first e-commerce business, I was online with Amazon with, um, I, I was online with, with Amazon and I used to sell books. That's all I sold on Amazon was books. This was like 20 years ago, but on eBay, I was online with eBay and I sold. I started off kind of like as a 
a designer person because I was a, a big shopper. So I had like designer handbags and designer shoes and designer clothes. And that's kind of, that was kind of my, my niche market. So I started off with a niche market based on my personality and what I owned, things I had to sell that I didn't use, I always had excess stuff. So sometimes it's gonna be based on your personality. You're gonna sell what you have. So let's say I know people who uh, are in this industry and they love music. And so they have all these old records. I know people who love, they, could, they collect uh, sneakers they collect sneakers so that's their niche so you could have a niche market and and you may not know what your niche is as of yet and your niche can change over years so what i was going to say about the food let's say 25 years ago when i started in e-commerce um i was my niche was designer handbags designer shoes and designer clothes but I was a major shopper you know what I'm saying so I shopped you know at these high-end stores I was shopping in New York I was shopping internationally so I had excess to all of that stuff excess of that stuff and then access to stuff that was on sale because what happened you'll start to learn your niche and then you'll know when stuff is on sale that you can resell that's a future video though that's a future video on resale this is just to get you started like right now with what you have in your house. So if you have a lot of stuff in your house, then you start with that in a general store. If you have something that's your niche in, then you start with that. So with the food, like I said, I started with designer clothes, but of course, as I evolved and my, my interest changed and I had a family and wasn't buying as many designer handbags, um, I started with gourmet, uh, I started with kitchen items and food items because I, I was then into like gourmet cooking and that type of thing. So I had a lot of high-end cooking items and um, a lot of even high-end foods and um, let's say like delicacies, let's say like anything from coffees and, and like I mentioned teas and um, even, you know, certain type of um, salad dressings not not your basic even though you can sell your basic if you find if you have a lot of it and again you gotta watch future videos on that but it can even be in food categories so there's no category that's off limit and i'm saying that to say and i'm going to close with this i'm saying that to say there is no one out there that cannot do this there is no one that cannot start their own business it is never too late. There are people in our community that are in their 70s and 80s starting their own businesses. And there are people in our community that are in their 20s, 20 year olds starting their own business with multiple, multiple streams of income because it's so easy to do. Don't think about you don't have a product and don't think about you don't have a supplier. You have a product you are your supplier. This is what I want to start with. You are your supplier. So as I said, three ways to start a business overnight with no money or $30 max. One, look around your house, find something you can sell. Go to an online marketplace such as Amazon, eBay or Poshmark and put it on that platform. If you have an excess in one area, a category, then just focus on that. If you're the queen of shoes and you love shoes and you've always loved shoes and you got a hundred pair of shoes and you know, you can't wear a hundred pair of shoes, especially now you're not going anywhere. You're going to become, you're going to start your business because your business is going to evolve as you evolve, but start your business focusing on shoes. This is what you sell. You sell shoes and just set your intention because it's all about intention. Your intention is what do I have that's valuable that I no longer use that would be a value to another person. In this case, it's my shoe collection. So I sell shoes if that's not you and your general 
you have some shoes, you have some used clothing that's still in good condition, but you also have some pots and pans that's in great condition. I used to sell pots and pans. I used to sell, I went through a, a phase for about two or three years and it was very lucrative that I learned everything about because what you want to do is you want to take your personality. Once you get kicked off, go ahead and get kicked off with whatever you have in your house and start getting some income. Okay. Start generating some extra income, $50 a week, $50 a day, $50 a month, whatever, whatever, just start generating income. And that alone is going to inspire and create an energy and a vibration that is going to bring other stuff into your, uh, psyche that you can do and continue to educate yourself, continue to come back and watch the videos, which is why I say, please subscribe because there are future videos that's going to give you even more detail. So if you're general, that's fine too. If you're a mom, a new mom or a mom, and you have kids that have outgrown their clothing, then start in the kid category, start in the baby category. I never really did the kid category. Uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, that just wasn't my, my interest. Cause it's got a lot to do with your personality, but if that's your thing and you're all into the kids clothing and, 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 um, you know, you have accounts at all these places and you just buy too many clothes, then just focus on kids stuff, kid hair ribbons, kid hair bowls, kid socks, whatever. If that's you, um, I did pots and pans and kitchenware. At one point I had a kitchen store. I had a store called cooking with PK. As you can see, PK is, is my name, but, um, it was cooking with PK and I had that store on eBay for about three or four years. And it was very lucrative and I was loving it because I was in a phase in life where I enjoyed gourmet cooking and I enjoyed having all these nice pots and pans and, and, uh, plateware and silverware. And so I just did that. And I was known for that person and build relationships around that. So, you know, you evolve, you know, like I said, I went from designer clothing, designer handbags, designer shoes about five years later. Um, I started with books on Amazon because I am, I am a avid reader. So I had a thousand books in my house. That's how I started. That's how I started. I started with Amazon. Why? Because I had literally, literally a thousand books in my house, best selling books for over the past, you know, 30 years, for as long as I've been reading, even going back to college, I had so many books that were in demand. And then I started to look on Amazon. I'm, I've always been an entrepreneur, but I evolved as the internet evolved. And I saw the books that I had were for sale on Amazon for more than when I bought them, not all of them, but some of them. And then some of them were for sale for the exact same amount of money. And the, here's the deal. The books were just sitting in my office or they were in boxes and they were just getting dust on them. So I, as I said, you look at what do I own that's valuable? What do I own that's valuable, but it no longer serves me, but there may be someone out there that needs it or can get value from it. So I evolved from selling the books. Then I went into selling the designer clothing and the designer handbags. I evolved from that. And then I went into selling the, the, the cookware and the upscale, you know, type cookware. And then eventually it led to, you know, different products. And, and like I said, we'll talk about those things in, in future sessions. So if you're starting off, start with where you are and what you have a lot of excess. So like I said, if you're a mom and you got small kids, then you may start in the children's department. If you are a guy and you collect comic books, or you a guy and you collect uh sports, sports, uh, paraphernalia and memorabilia, then you may start there. Um, it just, it just depends on what it is that, that you like to do, or you just do the general store approach. So, that's it for this video. Like I said, it was going to be short and sweet. If you want to start a online business, if you want to start an e-commerce business, remember e-commerce means the exchange of goods on the internet. Here are three platforms where you can get started in less than 24 hours for little or no money. There's no excuse not to start your own business. You can go to Amazon. It will cost you $39 to start an Amazon account. 
you can go to eBay. It is free. It is free to put your products in front of people. You can go to Poshmark. It is free. Where are you going to get your products? You are your own supplier. This is Pam. This is Pam Ennis. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Click on the notification bell. You see the red button. The reason being so that you can get our future notifications and you can stay in tune as we go down this journey of true entrepreneurship. I'll see you next time. Bye.